It's taken 27 days to drive this toy car 303 miles from Jacksonville to Fort Pierce. We're attempting the longest road trip in a toy car and we're still far from the finish line. The entire journey will take two months to go from our starting line at the top of Florida all the way to the southernmost point in the continental USA in Key West. These cars are made for children riding in their backyards, so they're not really made to be driven fast. They have a top speed of 11 miles per hour, but with uneven sidewalks, we move at an average pace of two miles per hour. That means we still have over a month until I hit the finish line. Last night, we ended our drive in the dark at our Airbnb in Fort Pierce. Welcome to day 28, baby. <laughs> It's done! The only thing I'm missing is some Cool Whip, but I guess I'll do it without it. Welcome to day 28. Right now we are in an Airbnb and both cars are parked right here sideways though. I guess I must have left something in mine. I have no idea what this is. Oh, I think it's just baggies. All right, I don't, I don't know how I didn't notice that. We set up a charging station right over here, but nothing is actually plugged in yet. That's because there's actually two reasons we are not getting on the road today or making any progress toward Key West. The first one is it's a rainy day, but we'd probably try to push through some anyway. It does say it's supposed to rain like all day. I haven't checked the weather this morning, but that's what it said last night. But the main reason is because this entire whoops is also a fundraiser to help save animals. And today I'm going on YouTube, TikTok, and Instagram Live to pack orders. <laughs> for all of the merch we designed to help save animals that people have been ordering along our route. But obviously we can't carry all the inventory along the route and my boyfriend Brandon's here and brought the inventory to us so that I could spend the day packing orders. And then tomorrow we're getting back on the road. But first I'm gonna try to make breakfast because one of my favorite thing about some hotels is that they have free breakfast. That doesn't happen at Airbnbs. But an Airbnb does have a kitchen and I love to cook. So I have on this trip, Wait for it, wait for it. This is all the stuff that I packed for two months on the road. This is about how big the backpack is. It has to store so many things. But one of the things that I'm carrying that I definitely don't need to carry, but I'm carrying it because I just want it so bad, is... Wait for it, one more second. Pancake mix! This is gluten-free pancake mix, so they don't have it at the free hotel breakfast. They just have normal pancakes, and I can't eat normal pancakes because I have celiacs. So let's make some pancakes. There's no measuring cups, so we're improvising. I love when Airbnbs just have random stuff left from other guests. This one has butter. And I don't actually love the flavor of these gluten-free pancakes, so I'm gonna smother it with butter. I burnt the butter a bit. Let's try that again. It's lathered in butter. I'm basically frying them in butter. Okay, so now I have been traveling with these strawberries for this exact meal. I think they look still good. Kind of, except for that one. This one looks a little rough. I still gotta open up all the boxes, but they are all out and ready, baby. I just set up the inventory on the floor. I should have actually filmed setting it up, but I wasn't thinking about it. So here's the inventory, but we got a big problem. Apparently some of the hoodies came in late and some of the shirts came in late. So they're not here. We only have some of them here. So I guess Brandon's probably gonna have to ship them out in Tampa when he gets home. Right now I have the socks. I have all the envelopes needed to ship all set up in this Airbnb. 
And these are all the shirts that did come in. Like this one is very similar to the one that I'm actually wearing right now because all the shirts that we wear are the ones that are also the ones sold on the website. So I guess it's time to start packing these orders and I'm gonna go on TikTok Live now and maybe Instagram Live, I don't know, and start packing these orders. I am a little discouraged that we don't have all the shirts we need to fulfill all of the orders, but I'm gonna fulfill whatever I can right now. Since we had a huge issue and don't have an actual label printer that has sticky stuff on the back to put on the back of the envelopes with everyone's address that we're shipping to. Brandon went out to the store and got a real printer where they are going to use that plus actual tape. And they're going to attempt to put all of the labels on the back of every single envelope while I am over here in this little spot in the middle of all these boxes packing the actual orders. So I'll pack the order, write the order number on it, pass it to them. They're gonna print it, tape it up, get it good to go. And and then that's how we're gonna get through this. I believe right now we have 109 orders. I'm not sure if more orders are gonna come in or not while we're live, but I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna try my best to pack all of them. That I can with missing some of the shirt inventory that came in late. But if anyone ordered socks, I have all the sock boxes here because that's my business on a normal daily basis of saving animals. And if anyone ordered stickers, we have this one that I can pack because I have a bunch of those. And we don't have a huge box of these, but I can also pack the majority of orders that come in for this sticker. This one's my absolute favorite and I'm gonna be putting it on my car shortly. I'm absolutely in love with this one. I also have these that go into every single box. The I love you animals everywhere, little postcards, and some care instructions. Oh. This was definitely a ginormous endeavor to try to take on in someone else's Airbnb and like turn the Airbnb into a, like a little mini saving animals merch studio, but we're making it work. And hopefully this all goes well and we raise more money to save animals and everything turns out great. I'm about to go live, so I'm gonna pass the camera over to Lauren and Brandon so they can get shots of everything going on because I'm gonna be busy talking to the lives. And the camera's all you. Okay, Brandon and I have been working at getting the software onto the laptop so we can print labels and we just printed our first one. Yay. Okay, Cassie, are you ready for action? I am ready, sort of. I can't get Instagram to log in, but Good. I'm gonna go live on TikTok. Woo! Oh, I'm gonna do a pad over here. All right, so we have the I, I respond to a lot of YouTube comments. I try my best, guys. I really do. I love reading them. I read every single YouTube comment. Okay, you hit him with fine. a piece of paper, I'm Cassie. Just making sure that that was okay. Oh, yes. He definitely missed me. He's not going to leave my lap. <laughs> Sorry. All right. I hey, hate Dalmatian sock. Oh, my God. My favorite. The Dalmatian. My absolute favorite are the Dalmatians. That's why you see me wearing them all the time in the videos. Those are my top two. And red pandas. That's why there's, I, we have a lot of socks. And like, I'm going to swap them out along the trip. Like, Brandon's going to bring other socks so I can swap out which ones I wear on a daily basis. But my top three are definitely the uh, monkeys, the red pandas, and the Dalmatians. That's why I see you wearing all the time. Well, if anyone orders shirts, um, Carson, it's going to be in the next drop, not this drop, because um, we're going to do one more drop throughout this entire world record. So if anyone wants a shirt or anything, the last day to order those will be within the next like 48 hours, basically. Um, We just finished packing orders for the night. Lauren and Brandon killed it with the printing over here to get all of the uh, the slips onto them so they went to the right addresses for everyone. Thank you, Brandon. Oh my gosh, guys. Tonight, we got all of these orders plus all of the orders inside this bag, which is like full. It's a ginormous trash bag. It's full all the way to the bottom down there. Holy moly. And there's still 75 orders that we couldn't get to tonight. The place looks like an absolute disaster. Like it looks like we literally just moved in and started a little save the animals quest all over the ground and made a huge mess. Look at all these slips on the ground from all the orders I was packing here on the ground for hours. 
we gotta get back on the road tomorrow, so I have to clean all of this up. <laughs> I guess tomorrow's a big day. We gotta get driving, and I don't wanna be dealing with all this in the morning. We did not finish packing all of the orders, but we need to plan our route out for tomorrow, and I had to get the YouTube vlog up for tonight. In my time, I'm still living slightly in the future from you, so we have time to edit the YouTube videos. <laughs> but I wanted to get it up, so because of that, we did not finish packing the orders. Plus, orders just kept flowing in while we were on the live, like nonstop, so it was impossible to keep up. So either Brandon or my dad is gonna have to come back another day so that we can finish up packing all of the orders because I really wanted to get them all done, but it's like 11 p.m. now and it just was not possible. There's so many papers. That's good though. That means we're helping the animals and helping support our trip at the same time, so we'll take it. I'd say we did such an awesome job. It's an absolute mess over here. You guys know what's crazy about this entire thing? Is that if we just had our actual label printer, none of this would have happened. Like the paper on the label paper is literally just a sticker and it prints it to the perfect size. You peel it off and pop it on the box. But instead, because we couldn't find the printer, we had all these papers that needed to be printed out, cut out, and individually taped over. It took like 20 times longer. And on top of that, we got swapped with orders. So this is an insane night, but I'm still so grateful it happened and for everyone who ordered because this was really cool. late so we're gonna have to continue this um, whenever I can get more stuff our plan was to just do two drops during this entire world record and this was supposed to be the first one but we expected to get the whole drop done in one night and the orders just kept flowing in so I think next time we might have to limit the amount of orders that come in between now and the next drop I mean the website's up right now and going but I I don't know guys this, this is a lot to handle especially when the inventory is in here all the time that being said, I am so grateful and we'll figure it out for next time because more orders, more saving animals, and more support for our trip. It's time for the nightly routine of plugging in all the batteries because we need them for our drive tomorrow. I still haven't figured out exactly how far we're driving tomorrow, but I do have notes like we did plan this out before we started this. What? having notes of where we plan to drive each day, but every time that we need rest days, whether it's to pack orders or to catch up on the log book, every single time, sometimes we need days where we have to drive extra to help catch up for those days that we took time to get other things done. I wouldn't even call them rest days to be real with you. Even earlier today when I announced I was gonna take a nap, that nap never ended up happening. I ended up needing to get things done, answer comments, get things going for the packing of the orders, and it just never happened. But I did lay down with the pepperoon for like three or four minutes and that was really nice. All the batteries are being plugged in and then I have to figure out our route for tomorrow or I might wait till the morning to figure out exactly how far we're gonna drive tomorrow. I think that might make that a tomorrow problem because Brandon leaves tomorrow morning and I want to spend some time with him because it's like he comes to visit and I barely have time to spend time with him. So I kind of want to spend a little bit of the night with him and then I'll probably figure out the route in the morning. All right, let's finish plugging in these batteries. <laughs> more stuff to plug in and not enough cords. One of my cords just went randomly missing the other day, which is not good because I need every single one of them. Because we drove in the night to get here, the headlamp needs to be charged ASAP Rocky. The lantern needs to be charged. The GPS tracker always needs to be charged because if that dies, we lose this entire thing. The AirPods and there's still a lot more stuff that I haven't even brought over here yet. So there's only one big issue after today. 
We had a whole bunch of my favorite stickers with us. These ones are my second favorite stickers. I still love them, but they're not the other ones. I love the color pink and the other ones have the color pink in them. These ones are just red and blue. Um, I really wanted the pink one and I had one for myself to put on my car, but tonight, a lot of people were buying those stickers. So I sold all of them, including the one that was supposed to go on my car. So now until my dad comes or Brandon comes back with the inventory, I don't get my own sticker. So I'm really jealous of anyone who ordered a sticker and is getting it in the mail in the next few days. I hope you absolutely love it and I cannot wait to have mine. It's a little bit before midnight right now, so I'm gonna try to get just a little bit of stuff done on my laptop before I go to bed because I did not get as much done today as I was hoping. I did get a lot done. But the to-do list I feel like on this world record, beyond just driving, is insane. I wanna finish up the day by answering some of the top questions. I'm constantly looking through the comments to see what questions you guys really want answered and there's one that I keep getting asked that I know you guys are probably all dying to know the answer to for anyone who's noticed. So people are a bit confused because in all of the different vlogs you see me in pants every day even when it's super hot out and you see Lauren in shorts and a tank top and a lot of people are asking, why don't you wear shorts like Lauren does? Why, Cassie, are you always wearing pants even when it's almost 100 degrees out there? And actually, there is an answer to this. Lauren really loves to tan. That's something that she just loves to be like a tan person. I just don't really care enough to have to put sunscreen on all day. She doesn't wear a lot of sunscreen when she's driving and just lets herself get super tan. I just don't have those vibes. I don't want to put a lot of sunscreen on. I lather my whole entire body in sunscreen. By that I mean my arms and my face, anything that's exposed. But I don't want to have to do it for everything. So that's why I wear pants every day. Then the second main reason is because dirt is always just flying up at all times and I don't want dirt to get just all over my body in places I don't want dirt to be. So if I'm wearing pants, the only spot that dirt really gets is all over my arms and all over my face and the worst spot that it gets is definitely in my eyes. <laughs> getting the dirt in my eyes is definitely my least favorite part of this entire challenge and I've debated on getting those like glasses that like have foam around them so that they actually seal around your face but I know it would be so hot in there that I just can't decide if that's a good or a bad idea yet. <laughs> so I hope that answers that question for you guys. <laughs> the second big question I've been getting a lot given that our tires are both squeaking or clunking or making weird noises on my car and Lauren's car and last time it was clearly the bearing that was the issue with my car when the wheel fell off if anyone saw that vlog there was one day we were trying to pick up the cars into a hotel room and the wheel just fell off my car a lot of people keep saying that I could just pick up bearings at just I don't know if it's like a hardware store or something along those lines they said you could probably find something that works to be safe it's really best for us to get all of our parts from the toy company that sold us the cars which is Freddo toys because it is their vehicles and then it's definitely not considered a modification. So we will only take spare parts from Freddo Toys and not from any random place unless it's just like a spare screw or a washer as long as it's the same one that we already had then that is fine. So I hope that answers the question for everyone who keeps yelling at us telling us to go get bearings at a hardware store which I guess is available somewhere. I don't know, I've never looked for bearings in a store. For anyone who missed it, I am now donating a penny per new follower on any of my platforms. I got this idea from Ryan Trahan when he did a similar series and I was like, oh my God, what a good idea. So now if you don't have the money to donate but you still wanna be a part of the fundraiser, all you have to do is follow me on any of the platforms, especially YouTube, and I'll be donating a penny per new follower to the fundraiser, baby. We also made a rule that every thousand dollars donated to the fundraiser starting from the vlog that I announced it, which I think was yesterday or the day before. Me and Lauren will both have to carry an egg and protect it for the entire day in the car on the road. We don't know how we're gonna do it yet, but we're gonna recalculate how much money has went into the fundraiser every 10 days. 
and then we're going to go to a store, get the eggs, and do our best to protect them in the vehicles as we are driving for the entire day. And we're not allowed to just use the egg carton. We have to find a creative way to protect these eggs on the route. I don't even know how we're gonna do it yet, but I hope it helps save animals and raises some money because it's gonna cause us a huge level of stress. But maybe it'll have some level of fun as long as eggs don't just start cracking all over all of our belongings. This could end up as a huge mess. <laughs> I did realize some of these things are actually kind of a double-edged sword because now that I'm donating a penny per new follower, I'm actually donating toward myself having to carry more eggs. I'm hoping it'll all be fine. Now it's time for one of my favorite parts of the day, which is the animal bug, baby. I think today is day 28. I hope this is right. 28, maybe? The top donation was from Kelly McKinney. And it was for $150 today, which is absolutely wild. That's one of our, I think one of our highest donations yet. Not the highest, but it's pretty high up there. So thank you, Kelly. Now let's see what our total donations are in total for this whole time. I haven't added up the merch sales yet, so this is not including the merch sales. Our fundraiser has officially raised $4,723.27. It's almost 1 a.m., so Lauren's already asleep, so we can't take the picture right now because we have a long day of driving tomorrow, and honestly, I should be asleep too. But I'm not, I'm gonna go to bed now. And we'll have to figure out the drive in the morning and finish cleaning up this place because we made a mess today in this Airbnb. I will update you guys tomorrow for what type of drive we're gonna do, how long we're gonna go. I'm hoping we find a hotel that is in a reasonable distance, but all these things currently are unknown. See you guys tomorrow for day 29 on the road.